Hi. I am hot today. Hot. <laughs> and exhausted. So I, oh, let's just move this slightly so you're getting a better view, not just me. Um, I, no. Welcome to a new vlog that I don't know what it's even gonna be. So, yeah. Get a cup of tea, cup of coffee, some hydration. So, hi. I have just been to the doctors. All's fine, don't worry. Um, and on the way back, I went to Aldi. No, I went to Lidl and picked up some little bits. So I'm gonna do a little food tour. I haven't done your food tour. No, food haul, there we go. Food haul in so long. And I also picked up an order from Next that I got with some vouchers that I had. So, let's do Next first. Oh, but if I'd have done the food haul, then I could have gone Next. Oh yeah, we've got some unusual things here today. I'm actually interested in this because it's a top. I'm really not in the mood today. But, but I've got a day off. And this is what's annoying about my life. No, 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 no. This is what I find a struggle with my life is because any free time that I have, I'm like, I need to film. So this should be downtime. Oh, that's see-through. What size is that? I thought this would be quite cute, something different than what I normally wear. I'm obviously gonna have to wear a black top under it. Mm. Or maybe just a black bra, depending on how. Look at these sleeves. This was in like super clearance. I got shoes. I got shoes, dress, top top for 40 quid with my vouchers. So yeah. So I started off with some flowers, got some roses for myself because I haven't had flowers in here for ages and it all makes me tidy up my table because I want them to look nice. Yeah, flowers. These roses were 2 dollars still such good value, even though they used to be like one ninety nine. But as is life, Bananas. I've never had these before. Japanese rice, no, Japanese rice stack. Japanese style mix rice snacks. That sounds really nice. Caramel waffles, Stroop waffles. Now, I don't really know why I got these. I haven't had these in years and years and years. I was just. I suppose I was shopping in a intuitive way because I wanted them, so I got them. Then I got some, I got some, um, some pea snacks that I had a bag of. Okay, realistically, I had I hadn't had breakfast before the doctors, so I had two bags of these on the way home. Chili, sweet chili and lemon. They're not great. I remember years ago, I had some of them, and then I gave them to my brother. And he was like, if you ever need something to suck all the moisture out of your mouth, it's these. So if you like something to get your mouth dry as a bone, get those. Um, then I bought my vase in from the car. Nice combo. Oh, I didn't even show you yesterday. I got these on Vinted for three pounds. I'm just trying to change my wardrobe up, wardrobe up so I'm not wearing joggers every day and I actually have an option of things that I want to put on. 
Um, I've bought a lot of things recently, but I have sent a lot back because things just haven't looked right. So these are like plissé, plissé trousers. They're like, yeah, they're boohoo, boohoo.com, um, stretchy and they're wide leg at the bottom. So, I was thinking of doing like a styling video, but like a realistic styling video, because you know when you watch these videos and firstly, everybody has so many clothes and I know I have a lot of clothes, but nowhere near, I don't think as many as other people. I think what I mean is mine, that didn't go in, would be a lot more realistic. So yeah, I think I might, I might do a styling video. Shut up. Chestnut mushrooms. Oofs. Cream cheese. Watercress spinach rocket salad. Strong. Oh, unsweetened oat milk. No, unsweetened soya. I haven't had these before. Oh, they're new, sliced focaccia. Cause I'm gonna make a sexy sandwich in a minute. I mean, that's a brute, isn't it? Um, cucumber. <laughs> Spaghetti. I, I know these are processed and I have, a, I do struggle sometimes eating. Shut up. It's cause the police were here yesterday. And he was taught, they were talking to the people on the other side of the road. So I think somebody might have run through their gardens, like a, like a, I was gonna say terrorist then, like, I don't know, a criminal of miscellaneous, whatever. Took them one hour to come, heard that. Okay, right. Meatballs. I friggin' love these meatballs. Well, I just eat them like snacks, which is not great. So I've got mozzarella. soft and mild and I got green pesto so we're gonna have like a pesto mozzarella I was gonna get some baby tomatoes but I'm trying to avoid too much acid uh like acidic things you're so loud this is the new neighbor that Spanish one um yeah so that is my shopping I'm gonna eat a meatball now mmm yeah, don't I'm just getting my hair done. Just, I'm just trying to film some of my life. Is it doing it? Did you cut it at the wrong bit? No. Is there anything on there? I don't know. Like the last time. No, 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 <laughs> All done, now I'm going to go home and wash it off. Yeah. Thanks. Good luck with that. <laughs> oh, that was a good stretch. <laughs> Morning. <clears throat> My hair. This is natural curl wave. Actually doing what I want for once. Well, not that I'm going anywhere. So hi, morning, welcome to my face. Welcome to a video, the day, today. Hello. <laughs> um, question. What's that? Oh, that was my earplug. I had one of my earplugs on last night and it fell out in the night.
you know that feeling when you haven't driven in a few days <laughs> and you're like do I even remember how <laughs> oh. oh don't you just love it when people walk out from behind vans it's just the great and don't even look wearing my new t-shirt that my beautiful friend Abramo got me the other day um, we went out when was it two nights ago and I texted him in the day saying I just don't feel very good because <laughs> I've just been feeling quite flat this week I've had it off work because my mental health has not been good and I've literally laid in bed the whole week and I've been anyway let me talk about the t-shirt first yeah it says you got this keep going and then um, it's cropped, it's really cute. It's like boxy cropped, which is like me to a T. So well done, it fits me very well. Um, yeah, my mental health has not been good this week. I think I'm just really burnt out. So the last few weeks, mum and dad were away. So I was looking after the business, the house, doing the YouTubes and everything. Um, yeah, just not having any time. You know, as we all are, we're just all so burnt out. And my mum was like, on your day off, uh, make sure you go to the park and do this and do that. And I'm like, I can't, I can't. Like, I just, I just wanna just lay in bed and stare at the ceiling. And, and then you feel guilty. You feel, I feel guilty. Oh, new car. I feel guilty on my days off when I don't make the most of them because I'm just like I should have gone then um, una, una momento please I feel bad on my days off when I don't make the most of them because I'm like when's my next one going to be I need to make the most of it I need to be well for me on my day off from my normal job I'm like I've got to be filming I've got to be filming what can I be filming um, I even filmed a little bit earlier this week, but I just like, it was like flogging a dead horse. And then I'm like, well, then I'm going to have to stress out for the weekend. If I don't film something now, so a video's got to be live on Sunday. Like, the thing, with, the thing with YouTube is the fact that with every single video, you see what it does to your stats. So whether that be it wasn't popular it was popular you see your earnings change daily so obviously if you do a video that isn't as good or isn't as popular you see your earnings drop and it's so anxiety inducing as well as everything else it's just it just blows my mind a bit and again I'm like sat in my studio and it's an absolute mess and I'm just like laying in bed in a mess and I'm like making myself feel bad for not getting up and doing it but I just don't have the energy to I'm sure if you can relate with this just like I don't know just know that you're not alone basically but then that's due to you know that's due to the patriarchy thinking that we always need to be moving we always need to be doing never resting because we always need to be busy we always need to be doing and that is not the case that is yeah life is just so full on so if you need a break let yourself have a break basically and don't come at me going I wish I could have a break but I've got 18 children and I <laughs> Good luck to you. If you've got 18 kids, good luck. <laughs> See, this is the thing. I have zero kids. I am the child. I am baby. <laughs> the baby is me. <laughs> you know, something a lot more interesting. Look. Nice. No, no. If anyone wonders where I get my dress sense from. 
somebody commented the other day saying, you're, none of your clothes are flattering. Oh, no. So, well, mine or yours? No, me, but... Okay. But then what is what is flattering? What does it mean? Yeah. And flattering to whom? Yeah. So these are trousers. Because flattering just means less fat, doesn't it? Oh, okay, more. Well, I don't know. I don't know what it means. Well, I can't even think more, of more. Um, all I can think about is how to work the scanner. But um, why do scanners and printers never work easily? Mm, I know. So these, <laughs> these trousers. Just want to, just want to say about these trousers. Oh, I've just realised what you're wearing. Yes. <laughs> Didn't even realise. Yes. Um, but these trousers meant to be. They're meant to be wide. And they're then, definitely oh, wide. And then they come in like that. And, and the actual, the, the real ones had a sort of slight upward thing because they had a second piece of fabric. To be fair, I'm going to put a picture here of what mum ordered and what she actually got because yes. it's hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you well, got a full refund. I did get a full refund because there's actually something wrong with the cotton somewhere. It's all... What so, is it? <laughs> So, yeah, we need to now go sort out the printer. Oh, I saw Laura, she did my roots. Oh, sorry, I didn't know. That's all right, it's look. up, it's up. I didn't look. Yeah, much better. Yeah. All refreshed. That would be a good little business to have, wouldn't it? In steps, a tiny little business in stations, rooty tooty or something. Oh, rooty tooty, because it's a station, and the old-fashioned trains used to go toot toot. That's absolutely. Or a hairdresser in a station. Not really. It's almost as if no one's ever thought of it before. No, it's more more because they. I know they have they have barbers. I don't know whether they have proper hairdressers in stations, but so many women need their roots done. Yeah, but it's not a five-minute job. Well, and they wouldn't. If you used a really good product, it could be or get Jonathan Van. Ness. Ness. Way down, yay. yay. Come with the Van Ness. To in, in. Mum normally just calls them the gays, don't you? Well, I do, but I mean it in a nice way. I know, I know you do, I know, I know you do. I've been watching the gays. It's only because also, I don't know, I can never remember, or I've gone again, the something Fabulous Five. Is that what it's called? Yeah, yeah, Fab Five. Fab, but is that what the programme's called? No, Queer Eye. Well, exactly, you see. But I can now remember all their names. Go on then, name the Fab Five. Tan, Jonathan, Jonathan Van Ness, Bobby, Anthony, and Karamo. Oh, I'm impressed. I know, I'm impressed. <laughs> I'm very impressed. <laughs> Mum wants to show you something, but I'm gonna give her a better backdrop. Here we go. Is this a good backdrop? Lovely backdrop. You know what a bully Lauren is to me about <laughs> my hair and how she just puts the camera on when I've literally just woken up. And okay, yes, my hair does look like a cockatiel and we laugh and I send messages to my hairdresser. No, and I say, say it slower, your hair looks like a... Cockatiel. Cockatiel. So doesn't I, today. No, it doesn't today, but when I wake up in the morning, it all goes thick on top and sticking up. So I say to my hairdresser, hello, cockatiel here. <laughs> and um, blah, blah, blah. So look what I've got. <laughs> I love this mug. <laughs> yeah, it's so you. Yeah. And it's pink. Yeah, so no one else is allowed the cockatiel mugs. No. She got a set. set. They're beautiful, beautiful mugs. And they're from an, Aust an Australian designer. I was going to open the door then, there's no door. It's called Pete Cromer. So there's a deer. No, is it a cot? Is it a what is it? Oh, don't ask me to say all the, the animals. Co Kookaburra. Kangaroo slash gazelle, parrot, kingfisher. Yeah, no, they're absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> what colours? Yeah. Right, come on then. Let's go. Right, okay. You see, he's on there, Jeff. Oh, leave that, leave that thing there. Because mm -hmm. I'm going to need it tomorrow because it's going to be raining. We're so busy scanning. Scanning like in the olden days. Yeah. 
Why did you do that? Why did you staple them all? To, to, to keep them together. I didn't realise Mark would tell me to stick them through the scanner. <laughs> What's your thought of the day? And don't make it about scanning. Thought of, of the day? Um, or your... What, like a positive thought? I don't or? know. What's your, what your, what's on your brain today? Um, all that's on my brain today is anything to do with figure work always takes about a hundred times longer than you think it might. Yeah, yeah. Accounts. Like. But everything takes longer than you think it will, doesn't it, really? Mm. Like, when I was getting the house ready for you, oh, yeah. it took me like yeah. two hours yeah. to get things. Yeah. And another thing which always takes so much longer, food preparation. When people are coming round, you think, I'm only going to do that, that and that. So three things. Oh, goodness. Yeah. And preparing to go to the airport takes way longer than you think it is. Yes. Yes. That's right. And we're always, we're all running out of time, aren't we? Well, I think when you're on holiday and you've got a flight to catch or something else, always get up at least two hours earlier than you think and then it's a much more relaxing morning mm. yeah i've come to next to return some things and i'm also going to have a look for a gift bag i've just had a look in m s they didn't have anything good enough um, Waitrose, nothing. This post office, nothing. So now, yeah, we have everything crossed for next. I want big matte pink gift bag. Like big. And all of them I saw were like... Biggest was like A4. And I need it a bit bigger than A4. So, cross everything. Okay, first we're going to do the online returns. Get started. Cycle the bag right here, so that's good. Okay, done. I'm assuming it's going to be. I'm assuming if it's oh, here we go. It's not a birthday. Why do they all say birthday on them? So annoying. Okay, that was a fail. So we're gonna go upstairs and have a look in the home section for a s frame. For a frame. This man is so handsome. <laughs> Hello. Hello. How 
How is it Halloween already? How? Okay, frames. I don't like those frames. I just want like a simple black one. Why would you ever want that? <laughs> This could be a series, couldn't it? Me going around shops just saying how terrible everything is. No, they're horrible. This one's nice, it's quite elegant actually. Quite elegant actually. They didn't have it. So, next. They didn't have anything, so next. And there isn't anywhere where I am to get what I want. Let's draw my life. <laughs> Next is always so busy. And I'm like, why? Why? Okay. I'm thirsty. I fancy a coffee. Whew. It's warm today. My boobs falling out. <laughs> oh my gosh, didn't even look. <sighs> Female, of course. And that, ladies, is how it's done. Bang! I'm joking. <laughs> the other day when I had a date. The other day when I had a date. It was the fourth date date. Um, I was driving. So I was parking at, uh, where we were going to stop for a drink. And I was parking in front of this car parallel. And just as I pulled in. I went bang <laughs> and I slammed my brake on <laughs> I don't think he appreciated it at all though I know he didn't appreciate it at all well if we're out lucky here we're just gonna have to go to Tesco This is how it's done. So, that's an IKEA hack for you. Park next to the exit because you know when you come out of IKEA, you're just going to want to sit down straight away, <laughs> unless you're insane like Charlie and she parks in the multi story car park. Um, so, yeah, IKEA. Let's go. Ooh. My friend Abramo is going to kill me for doing this. I always avoid the showroom. Go straight past the showroom and cheat. And go straight downstairs to the good bit. Is Ikea busy? Every time. Every time. 
Now I'm trying to rack my brains because I'm sure there's something I wanted that I cannot remember. Okay, we're next to lighting. And this is normally where paper is. Oh. I mean, what they've got is bears. Or Christmas. Are you enjoying this wild goose chase? I hope you are. Lighting's always my favorite. <laughs> oh, I mean, it should have ears, shouldn't it? Hmm. Okay, we have arrived at frames. So, I want a black basic frame. That one, not that one. I want like a flat one, not the bezeled. And yes, I bought my picture to check. I'm not going to show you it because it's secret. Okay, I think we have a winner. Okay, I've chosen my frame and now I've got distracted by all of these plant pots. They'd normally, IKEA normally have a terrible selection, but these, I like these ones and I like this colour here. Um, and this one's nice as well. And with the salsa is only five, which is for a big pot, it's good value. Oh. It's so hot. I got two pots this type <laughs> with saucers. I remembered when I was in there wait I need some fresh air where's my keys I remembered when I was in there I remembered that I was in there that I had a gift card from the last time I returned something so I got this pot which has a nice little texturing two of these I'm really hoping these fit the plastic pots that they're meant to. I really fancy a, oh, I, oh my God, I'm gonna try. I think that they still have on Biscoff McFlurries. Quick. See, there is no better feeling than when you come out of Ikea and you can see your car within 10 meters. <laughs> and you've got some loser walking slowly with a massive thing in the road. Okay, Biscoff McFlurry, because I know that it's being discontinued at the beginning of uh, March. Oh my God, August. <laughs> August, Lauren, it's August. <laughs> December. <laughs> yeah, hopefully I wouldn't be sweating like this in December. Well, 
not with no good reason. And luckily for me, there's a Windows, there's a Windows. There's a McDonald's right here. So, here we are. We're at McDonald's. <laughs> and I'm gonna be really cheeky. Oh no, please tell me no. Okay, I'm gonna go around this one because there's no good going in the second one. Hi, do you still have the Biscoff McFlurry on? Sorry, okay. are, you, are you still doing the Biscoff McFlurry? Oh, sorry, yeah, we have. Which one do you want? Uh, Biscoff. No, we don't have a server now. No. Yeah, we do. I like it. Oh no! Yeah. Please, can please can you ask them to bring it back? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Um, can I have a? Uh, do you have any milk? Can I have a chocolate milkshake, please? Chocolate milkshake. Uh, chocolate, please. Chocolate milkshake, medium or large? Uh, medium, please. Yes. yes. Anything else, better? That's it. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Bye. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> Should we have a moment of Should we have a moment of silence? <laughs> I'm just imagining what my face looks like right now. Like an absolute spoilt brat. <laughs> That's me. Oh, salted caramel McFlurry can get in the bin. It is not. How could it? It could never. It could never Biscoff. R.I.P. Biscoff. I know it will come back one day, but today is just not the day. Uh, just a chocolate milkshake, please. Thank you. Cheers, thanks. Biscoff. Hi, thanks very much. Thank you. <laughs> you're going to be good, but you're not going to be. Now I'm going to go Tesco to try and get this sodding gift bag. Shorty's like a melody in my head. That I can't keep up, got me singing that. No, 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 every day. Got my iPod stuck on replay, replay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so now we're at Tesco. <laughs> Squeaky brakes. <laughs> These bumps are bumping. right back into her space but please let me do it in one this would be the best day ever if I could just do this in what? <laughs> congratulations to me oh why did I come here now because now I'm gonna to have to drink this whole thing before I go in, otherwise if I go in and come out, it's gonna be melted. It's no Biscoff McFlurry. You know what I like when they do milkshakes? When you, when you get a chocolate milkshake, but the person before you's had banana, so they get a bit of banana and then you get the rest chocolate so it's a cheeky mix <sighs> please cross your fingers for a, bit, a bag in here big tesco better have big bags 
Okay. Well, I think it's gonna have to be this one. I've got to remember that I've got a, I've got to remember that I've got a freaking thing in the car, a melting milkshake. So I'm on a time limit. I bet there's no like happy hen do card, is there? Maybe I could get a card with a picture of a hen on it. <laughs> uh. Okay, we got this bag. Okay, so my succulents are growing very nicely. For those of you who remember my little planty video the other week, it's now like nearly 9 pm. Hey Google, what time is it? 8:27 pm. I've sat in my car for two hours. Looks like doom scrolling on my phone. So annoying. Okay, these are the beautiful roses that I bought myself the other day. They've all opened. Did you see this? I don't know. If you saw the bit of footage where I went to Lidl, this is them. They are beautiful. Can you remember the other week when I did the plant video? The, uh, the odds and ends that I like rooted. Why is everyone walking past? Four kids two adults. Yeah, this is my Pothos Glacier. Lots of little leaves, lots of little babies. So yeah, we are here to see if the pot I want to fit in this fits, because obviously I didn't measure it. That's good for five pounds, isn't it? With the saucer. I was expecting it to be like salsa additional, but it included salsa. Oh, this will fit. This will fit. Okay. Ready? Dun 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 dun. Perfect. That's not how the song goes. Dun 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 dun. Perfect. Yes, because I have a few of these size. I have a few of these size pots and this bit just makes them a bit too big to fit in my other plot pot sizes. I need to get a sprayer and I need to spray this because some of them, some of these leaves get a bit crusty. Crusty is not the right word. Let's go with crusty. So yeah, perfecto. Look at my pink Zingonium baby. She's doing good. Okay, let's... Maggie got me one of these for Christmas. It's a moisture meter. So we're gonna poke it in. Okay, she's, she's just dry. Moist. Yeah, she doesn't need watering just yet. And look. So you can see when you put it in soil, it will tell you whether it's wet, dry or moist. I mean, you could just put your finger in. <laughs> it's just, this is the thing. Like when you have plants and you grow them and you feed them, they grow. And then you're just constantly moving, moving pots. So as much as it's good to get your plants to grow, it's also quite annoying. This one, so what plant will go in here? No, no, no. You. Oh God. She nearly slipped through my fingers then. Slipping through my fingers all the time. <laughs> Lovely. Because I had this, this is my raven, ZZ Raven. I had her in a dark pot before, but it just didn't, didn't do her enough goodness. Didn't, 
didn't show her off enough. Show off her luscious black leaves. I mean, I should really be dusting this with a wet cloth, not just my dry hands. Mm -hmm. Screenshot. <laughs> uh, what other plant am I going to put in that other pot? Okay. Because now this is the issue. Now the pots are bigger. I need bigger spaces. Oh, she looks so smart. I feel like that put, that's really good for seven, six, six pounds this pot. That would be a lot more in another shop. This pot, the other one of the other one. Huh. huh. Dandelion. Hello. I was gonna put this one in there, but this one's just gonna go all the way down. Down, 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 down. So what I normally do when this happens is I put another plant pot like that underneath it. Oh no, that's not a very good idea. And then I rest it like that. It's good for now. Right, I think I am gonna end this video here. I know I've got other stuff to do tonight, but this video is just gonna be too long. So, um, yeah. A few of you uh, were like, why did you end last week's video on a cliffhanger? So this is not gonna be a cliffhanger. My friend with the foot, bee foot, wasp, bee, wasp. Anyway, if you, yeah, Lauren, my best friend, Lauren, is in the last week's end, uh, last week's video at the end, she got stung by a wasp. Well, she was, she was, she stood on, she stood on it. She thought it was dead. I don't know why she stood on it. She must have, but then she was like, I thought it was dead. Well, regardless of whether you thought it was dead or not, she shouldn't have stood on it. Anyway, she was in loads of pain and um, she's fine now. We went to the chemist, we got some antihistamines and some cream. And I mean, she's just had a, weekend partying in Amsterdam so I think she's absolutely fine um but a load of you requested more videos with her so I'm definitely going to get that filmed if you haven't seen it it's so fun she's one of my oldest friends we met in uni about 16 years ago and um yeah she's not normally on the vlog because she doesn't live very close and whenever we see each other it's always just all the time so if you haven't seen that go back and watch it uh thank you so much for watching um and yeah if you get to this part in the video com oh and also i know last week i did the i did the thing like whether you but whether you thought that i was right wearing the trousers or if i wasn't I should have washed them after getting them from Vinted and I think it was pretty even. It was even, maybe a few more of you said I was awful, but mostly it was even. Um, I haven't worn them since. <laughs> I wanted to do like a styling video on them because I just don't know what to wear them with. Um, and I don't even know if I like them. Are they behind me? Oh no, they're on the floor. Uh, where are they? Oh, they're there. Um, yeah. Yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you get to this part in the video, uh, tell me how you're doing today. Give me something. Give me a bit of news from your day that you want to share. Um, I love hearing from you all, as always. If you're a regular commenter, thank you. If you haven't commented before, leave me a comment. Come and say hi. If you're new, come and say hi. And yeah, just basically come and say hi. I love you all very much. And I'll see you next week for a different new video. Who knows what that's going to be. Okay, love you lots. Bye.